driver than me. All right, guys. So today we're going to go over some features on the app that some of you mightn't be aware of. And I found them very helpful. Once again, I've split the video into categories so you can skip to the one you're only interested in. We're going to talk about the work area, how to set your work area. We're going to talk about earning trends. We're going to talk about destination filter. That's one of my favorites. We're also going to talk about reviewing a trip right, where the riders cancelled, but you haven't been paid. And we're also going to talk about blocking a rider. So I've got my phone here, but don't worry. You're not going to look at me watching me phone. Let's stick that here for you. So we won't be needing this. And on that note, you also won't be needing me. Setting your working area. Okay, so we're going to talk about the work area. Click this button down at the bottom next to where it says offline. Select your area preference. This is for, for example, if you can only come out for an hour or come out for an hour or two, you don't want to end up going all the way from to Manchester from Liverpool. So you can select which areas you want to work. So in this instance, I've selected Liverpool, the east end of Liverpool and central Liverpool, as you can see from down here. Now, go press your back button and you will see at the top, it says filtering trips based on preferences. That means Uber will only offer you jobs in that little patch of area that you've selected. And to bring it back so that you are open to all trips, simply press reset. Now, you're open to all trips again. You can only use this area preference for up to eight hours a day. Earnings trends. Earning trends. So to access the earning trends, swipe up till you see this screen. Then click on the map. Earning trends are based on the last 26, 28 days of what other drivers have earned in your area and at what times. So you could tell now that if I went out now, it's low earnings compared to more busy and popular times. But to view these popular times, click see hourly view. And it shows that it will pick up and be busier and I'll earn money, a little bit more money later on at 8 p.m. And then at 3 p.m as well so it does peak here on a Tuesday you can use this screen to figure out a rotor for yourself if that's what you wanted to do like for example if we scroll across to Friday it shows that on a Friday there's pretty much a nice even earnings available out there on Saturday it's right through the roof so it's pretty much busy all Saturdays it shows it in the areas similar to the preference filter that I showed you before. Out of town, southwest, the Wirral, and so on. All your local areas. Again, you can click Sunday. So on a Sunday, is pretty much a good day to work as it's busy throughout the whole time. This helps you create a rotor for yourself of when you want to work and when you're going to maximize your earnings. Destination filter. destination filter I personally use the destination filter if I find myself for example in Manchester and I wanted to get back to Liverpool you can use the destination filter two times a day it's a great little feature for example now if I'm I'm in Liverpool so I want to get to Manchester but I wouldn't set my destination filter to the tip of Manchester I'd set it to the end of Manchester. It's the same, for example, if you're coming back from the other way. If you're in Manchester, but you live at, say, for example, in Heighton, in Liverpool, 
you wouldn't set your filter straight to heighten. You would set your destination filter a little further ahead because it's more than likely going to find you a trip along the way. So here's how to set it. Simply click your magnifying glass icon and then you would type in where you want to go. Select Manchester in this example. It creates the route for you and then you press go online and navigate. You can either wait on the side and see whether a job pops up that takes you there or you can start driving back to your destination. It will now attempt to find me a job heading that way. Trip price review. Getting a cancelled trip reviewed. Now I don't know about you guys, but I found that sometimes when the rider cancels your trip, Uber still doesn't give you the money. Every time a rider cancels on you, I always double check with a trip review. So to do that, click your menu and go to help. Then select trips. On the trips, select trip adjustment, trip price adjustment. Then request a trip earnings review. The next screen that pops up I'll ask you to choose a trip. Scroll down till you come across where it says rider cancelled. Now in this particular job, the rider cancelled and Uber did not pay me. So I selected that trip. Select next. Uber then takes a second and it'll either come back and say, you've got your three pound 50 for the cancellation fee or you didn't. Now in this case, it already says the cancellation fee was added. But guys, seriously, any time a ride is canceled, always go through that feature. It could be worth 350. Block riders. How to block a rider permanently from you being paired with them to be picked up. This, I used to think that when you'd one star people, it would automatically do this. You'd think it would, but it actually doesn't. So to do this, you're coming back to the help section, selecting trips. Then you put issue with rider. So you tap that. I have feedback for the rider. Click that. Then, once again, you need to choose which trip you want to be not paired with anymore. So in this case, I'm going to pick that person who cancelled on me because I ended up phoning him and he just said I'd already cancelled it when he hadn't. So once the trip is selected and highlighted, click next. You have to select negative feedback, then click next again. On this screen, there's various different options, but to have the, the pairing option available, you must select the rude or disrespectful. Do not select everything, just select other. Then scroll down to the bottom and press next. This next screen, you will see this block pairing. Make sure you toggle that to on and then click next again. The system will then automatically block that rider and you being the driver to ever being paired again for a trip. This can be a very useful feature and it can be used for an enormous amount of things. End of the day, you're self-employed, you choose who you're picking up. Well, guys, they're my top tips on using the Uber driver app. I've used them daily, most of them, all of them, every day, all the time. <laughs> if you found the video useful, give us a like. See you in the next one.